Some of the activities are geared especially for the young uh, who did not have a chance to, to get to feel or to know what the civil rights movement actually was about. Even as they marched, now they could have uh, stopped in a hotel, but when you think about marching from Memphis to Jackson or Jackson to Memphis, that were the hotels. You, you stayed in churches, you stayed in people's homes. And, and, and that's how we got over, that's how we got through. Uh, the struggle was a very, it was a spiritual struggle. You couldn't pay people to do what we had to do. You couldn't pay people to stand before mad dogs and fire hoses and, and billy clubs and, and cattle prods. It was strictly uh, a spiritual and moral movement. So we wanted that dimension to be in the pilgrimage to Memphis. We will revisit the mountaintop speech site. That's the Mason's Temple, where Dr. King made his last address, which he almost didn't make, because the night that uh, we were having that rally, there were tornado warnings, and he was behind on the Poor People's Campaign. And he said, you guys go on over and have the rally. I'm going to stay at the motel and work on the Poor People's Campaign. When we got there and Dr. Abernathy walked in and Jesse Jackson walked in and I walked in and others, people started clapping because they thought Martin was behind us. And so Ralph's preacher sent, said to him, this is not our crowd. And he went to the phone and called Dr. King and said, any of the marches that, 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 that we had in those days, you have an opportunity to bring the children and bring the family and march with us. And when I finished sharing with them the last hour of Dr. King's life, a hurry. But that gave me the wonderful privilege of spending the last hour on earth. Three preachers in a room, Abernathy, King, and Kyle. And we spent that last hour together in room 306 at the Lorraine Motel. The press is always curious and writers, what went on? What did you talk about? I say, we just talk preacher talk. What preachers talk about when they get together? Y'all pay your real attention to what life. you're fixing to hear now. About a quarter of six, we walked on the balcony, and he was talking to people in the courtyard. He stood here, and I stood there. Only as I moved away, so we could have a clear shot, the shot rang out. Thank you. I turned around and then I knocked him back on the balcony. 